here with a, another makeup tutorial for you guys and this is another one inspired by Valentine's Day of course. Now before I make you guys kind of run off and get freaked out by just looking at the look, um, let me go ahead and, and explain what the look is. Um, first I want to go ahead and say that this is a makeup collaboration with a bunch of other YouTube girls. We brought you several different looks. A few of us are going to be doing wearable looks and then the rest of the girls are going to be doing a lot more bold and dramatic looks and I'm definitely one of the girls that are doing one of the bold and dramatic looks. I will link all of their channels below and feel free to check all of them out for some nice, fun, girly, as well as bold dramatic looks for Valentine's Day. If you've seen my videos before, especially my past Valentine's looks that I filmed, they were very girly and fun and wearable and kind of romantic and flirty, all those great things about love. The look that I wanted to do this time, I wanted to do something a little bit, you know, outside of, side of the box, I guess you can say. Love as, you know, the first thing that people think are mushy and gushy and romantic and flirty and all of that and girly. You know, love, like I said before, has different connotations behind it. There's the very passionate and very aggressive and very kind of, you know, the dark and mysterious side of love. So that's really how I came up with this look. I did still add the lighter colors, which is the spark out here and then the creamish color right here and the light pink which reflect the um, sort of more bubbly and more girly and romantic side of love then out here I added the dark purples and plums and reds which more so represent for me at least the more darker mysterious side of course I had to pop in the contacts to make this look all mysterious and everything so of course if you don't want to do that I am going to be having pictures so you can see how it looks without that Trust me, the look is a lot more wearable. It's just the contacts that make it look extra, extra crazy, I guess you can say. But I had so much fun filming this look. If you want to see something more wearable, I do have a few looks as well that are great for Valentine's Day. I'll link them below. Wish you all a very happy and fun Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Begin this look with a black cream base. This will allow your eyeshadow colors to really pop black eyeliner and smudge that at the lower lash line. The majority of the colors I'm going to be using today are from the Starlux Pro 15 eyeshadow palette. However, you can go ahead and use any similar eyeshadow colors that you'd like. The first color that we're going to begin with is this very warm violet shade. Smudge that at the lower lash line and apply that in my crease. I'm not being too precise because I just really want that smudgy, smoky eyed effect at this point. With this semi-matte red eyeshadow, apply that in the crease area, focusing that on the outer edge of the eye and slowly bringing that in towards the inner crease. I'm actually going to go just above the crease and follow my brow bone. We're going to go back into that palette and we're going to mix these two shades, reddish orange and the other one's more of a pinkish mauve. Blend those together. This is going to be our lid color and apply this very fun pop of, it's sort of a lavender pink, kind of like a bubblegum pink. So I'm gonna apply that right at the inner corner of my eye, and I'm gonna apply this in a sort of kind of diagonal fashion. And I'm gonna have that touch just my kind of end of the arch of my eyebrow ever so slightly. Then I'm gonna take this neutral eyeshadow from MAC, and this is going to kind of blend out all the colors that we have so far. And that's really going to lift my eyes and brighten them up. Then go ahead and take any liquid eyeliner and go ahead and apply that to your upper lash line to give the illusion of thicker, fuller lashes. Because the look is semi-matte and it's kind of looking pretty flat at this point, we want to add that kind of hint of glamour. Add in this sparkly loose eyeshadow and it's sort of a, just kind of focus on the outer edge and it's gonna add a nice accent to the eye it looks very pretty now this look is not complete without a set of false dramatic eyelashes so make sure you take a few extra minutes to pop those on and then of course add your favorite mascara to seam in your natural lashes with the false lashes I'm just gonna add a little bit more eyeliner because I really want that lower lash line super smoky. All right, we're done with the eyes. Let's go ahead and move on to the face. For the blush, I wanted the cheeks to kind of go along with the eyes, so I just took that same eye colors that we worked with earlier, and I'm gonna go ahead and use those colors as my blush. I'm taking that same palette and taking the goldish shade and applying that as my highlight. 
and I'm sweeping that kind of downwards to really make my cheeks pop. Apply any neutral pink lip liner and fill your lips in. And then I'm taking this white eyeliner pencil to outline my lips to make them look a lot more voluptuous and fuller. And then make sure to blend it out so you don't look like you have a milk mustache. I'm going to apply just a little bit of this wine colored shade from Revlon and then I'm going to top it off with this lighter color from Starlux and kind of lighten up the color. I'm applying this loose pigment right over. That completes the look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you did enjoy this Valentine's Day look. And don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe.